Hello everyone and welcome to the Forbidden Cleaning channel. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to clean a couple rings here I got. Uh, we're going to start with one and then hopefully in other videos we'll get to do the other ones. So starting with first of course safety always is important. We'll put our safety glasses and since we're doing some polishing we're going to need our mask. So make sure we have that as well and then after that we're gonna need our polishing gloves and so this is the polishing gloves i have an extra glove so that way i don't have to wash my hand afterward or get my hand dirty with the polish because it's sometimes it can get hard to remove so you can see we'll put our polishing gloves and then here we have this right here which is like a polishing tape I guess and it will help us with having the, the gloves not uh, getting caught in the polish machine and it's really really easy to apply I mean I'm right-handed so I basically will need it in my left hand, my bed. So there we go. Here, this is the hand I'm gonna be holding the ring with. So this is the hand that needs this tape in there. You don't wanna have it like super tight because it's gonna start bothering you, but at the same time, you don't wanna have it loose because it's not gonna work. So as you can see here, having my finger, first one is taped. And then I'm gonna be using my thumb. So that's another one that we need to cover as well. Uh, a lot of people do actually uh, use the, the polish tape right away on their fingers. Uh, like I said, everybody have his own method or own way. I like to use, uh, to use it on top of the polishing gloves so that way I don't get my hand dirty. So now that we have our polish tape in our fingers, and this is basically what I'm gonna be holding the ring with, uh, I'll start with this ring right here, which is a flower ring, a sterling silver, but as you can see here, it has like tarnish, because sterling silver and silver tarnish, so you can see a lot of discoloration around the, I'm not sure if you can see it clearly, but there is a lot of discoloration in the band under the flower right here. And that's what we're gonna start with polishing. We're gonna be very careful, uh, very careful around the stones when we go with the polish machine. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll just go ahead and start doing it. I'll be showing you how to use the, the, pol the different type of polish. As you can see, we have gray, green, and red uh, to start with. We have our polish machine. We're gonna release the hook and choose a polish head that's gonna be appropriate for it. We just insert the polish head and then we lock it. And now when you turn the polish machine on, there is, it rotate in both ways. So uh, I usually like to have it uh, rotating away from my face. So that way I ensure that nothing's, you know, get stick to my face or, you know, but um, you have your glasses and, and mask, that's an extra protection. But like I said, I do always like to have it away from my face because if it shoots something, it shoots away from my face. So we'll see which way is that. See, now it's rotating towards my face. So if there's any polished materials coming out, is gonna come straight to my face. So I need to switch it to the other side. And yep, now it's polishing away from my face. Let me adjust this so I can control the step on uh, this machine. Just, it works by stepping on like a lure, like a device that you step on in the floor. And the harder you step, the faster it goes. So it comes by, uh, like learning it and you'll get better uh, at it once you become uh, more familiar with your machine. 
you'll know like the speeds and what's so on and then here we have one final look to the ring you can see all the discoloration that's going on under and around the flower and then in the band as well so to start our polish uh, process we're gonna start with the gray polish so here it's a brand new uh, polish head or buffer so it's gonna shoot a lot of uh, like little strings that are like with loose or what's so not so here we go we'll start our polish like i said we need to be very careful with it i'll try to do like one side and then show you the difference but uh let's go ahead and do this i'll try to go slowly so you can see the difference while i go I'll just pause here for a second to show you guys the difference uh, and as you can see here this is the part that we just polished and then here we have the part that we didn't polish you can notice like it's a big change even though we only started with one roach and we'll still to do like the green and gray which will restore like the, the shine to it and you know get rid of like this dullness that the gray polish cause i'm sorry this keeps going away but there we go this is the part that we just did this is the other part that we haven't done yet i hope that you can see it clearly because i don't have a look at what you guys can see so i'll just go ahead and finish uh, doing polishing this side and we'll get into polishing the band in and out and then we'll try to see if we have a different polish head because this one's a little bit too thick to go inside or I guess we can still use it. We'll see once we finish the band and the uh, under the flower. So a little bit more road. You always need to make sure that you're holding the ring really, really good because you don't want it to s slip out of your hand and shoot somewhere and that way will cause you to lose stones and maybe damage the ring. So, like I said, slowly and steady is the best way to go. When you get to like very like tight areas like right here where the flower and the band connect, you don't want to have your polishing machine going too fast because it will create like a lot of force and you won't have control over the head or the polish head. So you want to go a little bit slower when you get onto those parts. I just need to lower this a little bit out and make it easier to do the polish. So let's go ahead. I'm almost done with uh, the flower and then we'll get into the band. Let's go one more time. Make sure that I got it in between that are leaves and then we'll switch to the band. And the more you use the polish, uh, the polish head, the smoother it will get. And then you won't get all the stuff flying to your face or like to the table as you can see there's a lot of stuff that fly, flew away and those are just strings because it's brand new and now that we're done with the flower i'll move into the band i'll start with the outer and then we'll go to the inside and then the other side there we go and then usually like when I do the inside, you don't want to do it too much, just kind of like slightly. 
and then the polish head will do the job the other side I guess I needed to do like a tape in this finger as well um, I see that I'm using it as well but it just depends on the piece because this ring is super small I had to use you know more than two fingers to hold it and now we need to do the other side of the ring see be careful because like I said small items will get caught in your hand okay now that I did all that, I guess I'm just gonna stop for a second and apply tape to this finger as well, just to have an extra support. So, like I said, a lot of people do it differently. So you might see some people that will use the polish tape straight on their fingers. Like I said, it's just a preference. And as long as you have it, you're you're on the safe side because there is no uh, gloves will get caught with the polish machine because it's like a rotating machine so you're not supposed to have anything loose around it so okay now that i have that finger taken care of we're just gonna go ahead and move into the second polish road which is the green and this one it removes some of the dullness because as you can see after we did the um, the gray polish, it looks good. It took off all the tarnish. It took off like the discoloration. And if there's any scratch, it'll have taken it off. But in this situation, we didn't have a lot that you can notice. But now we have to deal with this dullness that's got created by the gray road. And to do that, we need to get our green, a little bit of the green here. And then we're gonna start I'll start with the band just because it's easier, I guess. Like I said, once you get to like a tight area, you don't want to have the, the polish going super fast because you will lose control. Always control the speed by how much you step on the polish. We did the outside of the band, we need to do both sides. To the other side as well. The good thing about the polish tape is it's like a sticky so once you hold it really well it will hold the piece so you can see it's pretty steady in here just because the material is sticky so it sticks to the metal and that's what you want when you do uh, polish so now that we're done with the band we'll move into maybe a little bit inside since we did polish the inside of it as well Come from the other side. Mm -hmm. And we'll do here. And now it's time for the flower. Now we need to get in between. And I'll pause here for a second just to show you both sides 
you really can't tell uh, you can't tell a lot of difference just because the polished roads will build up on the metal but only after you do the ultrasonic you will be able to tell the difference because that's what gets all the polish left over from the from the metal so I'll just keep going we'll do this side as well And another thing that I do like to do, uh, I don't know why I didn't do it, but usually I have one polish head for the gray and then for the green and red, I use a different one. So I guess I, I'll just do that because usually the gray is a little bit on the harsh side. So I always like to keep it separated from the green and uh, the red. But we'll just use this one for the red since we already did the green. To be honest, it's not really that, you know, big of a deal. But uh, you can see a lot of people that will do that as well. They will have, uh, they'll use the same polish head for all polish roads. But from, I mean, from doing it for so many years, I figured that's like always the best way or to, best, to get the best result. And then to have the polish uh, head not getting mixed up with, plenty of different roaches you just want to get the polished roach that you want and apply it straight to the band just to get like a better result so we'll just do this is the final coating of the polish and I will show you how it will make a big difference okay I hope you can see it as clear as I am, but I'll try to hold it. This is the side that we did with the green, I mean the red one, and this is the side we did with the green. So you see the it's a big difference. I'll try to just put it in my hand and show you. So this side is the red, this side the one we did with the green, and I hope you can see the difference. Oh. Yeah, it fell so let me just go ahead and finish the red and show you the result of the red so like i said be careful when you get to like really tight areas such as like this right here where the band and the flower meets you want to be really careful and not have the polish head goes like fast right, here we go Now we'll just do the band. Then a little bit of the inside, like I said, since we polish it. Okay. Usually what I do is I like to just have it in the middle and then just go. But you need to be really careful when you do that because sometimes the ring will get caught in the polish it and will start spinning all over the place. Okay, now that we did, let me just do one more coating of the red outside just to give it that last shine to it. Make sure I did not miss no spots because now we'll have to move to the inside, which can be, be a little bit challenging, but I think we can get away with this. So with the stone part, you don't need to go with all the coating. Uh, just like you can do, it depends on the condition, but in this situation, it's not really that bad. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do just the red coat or the red roach. And then we just gonna, like I said, you need to be really careful because you're doing it around stones. 
So you only want to just do the top part of it, which is, you know, like the little pieces of metal or that holds the stones, just to make sure that it looks all good once you're done. So just really smoothly and really gently, you just have to go through these. Did these two we'll just switch side do the rest like i said you don't want to press too much at the same time you don't want to have it super loose and you won't do nothing except getting the polish roach stuck in the stones and then if you see anything get stuck like i said it it won't really matter because the ultrasonic will take care of that it will get rid of any polish roads that got stuck in between the stones or anything. And the polish, of course, is not going to hurt the stones. Because the you know stones are usually stronger than anything, you know. And especially with diamonds, they're, they can't scratch glass. So you don't have to worry about the machine making any scratches on the diamonds. So like I said, you just have to be very careful with it. Now that we did the sides, I mean, the leaves. You're gonna have to do the middle one just very carefully you don't want to do too much on it okay there we go and the final side one last roll and we are done so let's show you the after as you can see here we got rid of everything it have a nice little shine to it if you just wipe it you'll see it better but once you get the ultrasonic and you hit it with the steamer you'll get rid of any polished materials that got stuck and you will have your final result and basically we restored the ring to bring it brand new um, hopefully I'll get a chance to show you the other steps in this video if not I will be sure to include it in other videos and hopefully you'll get to see the final results of the ultrasonic and then the steamer and in, there, in other videos I'll be showing you uh, how to restore other rings such as this I have this star ring and we have this engagement ring as well i do have a lot of rings to restore to be honest and i'm hoping to uh, be able to create more content and hopefully you like what i give you guys and if you have any recommendation or uh, you want to see specific thing just let me know in the comment and make sure to subscribe and uh, turn on your notification to make sure you see the videos uh, as soon as I drop them. Thank you for watching and see you next time.